when I was younger, when I was really young, I wanted to be a nun. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here to start a revolution. Thanks, guys, for just sitting down with me and yeah, <laughs> having a talk about the chosen. It's been awesome to have you here in the Netherlands. So, one of the things that's very prominent in the series is the tagline uh, "Get used to different." Get used to different. We see it coming back all the time. How has it been for you guys? How do you <laughs> take that with you in your life? I feel like ever since The Chosen, everything has been so different in my life that I don't think it's like a, a, we have no choice but to get used to yeah. different. Yeah. I can imagine. And what we see now is that also Gen Z is getting yes. <laughs> like an influx of, of so many people that that um, tune in. How, how do you think that The Chosen can bring something new to this generation specifically? Like here is a group of young people who have these you know varied backgrounds and then they watch this show and you know this show focuses on the sometimes very difficult and challenging but very real and honest experiences of human beings yes they were you know figures in history but also like they were people <laughs> and they had the same sort of challenges tax problems addiction i mean there were there were, there are were some very raw and and realistic um, issues that they're going through and I think as a younger audience Gen Z might be like oh that's I've, I've been there that is me and and then they can see how Jesus can also in, in interact and and change and transform people so I think it's hopeful for them that like maybe this is the Jesus that I I, I didn't even know existed that is you know has unconditional love and and um, compassion and and healing and I think it's promising to see that, you know. Yeah. The Chosen doesn't run away from the, the, you know, uh, a, a controversial scene or something that's going to challenge people and make them maybe, you know, re rethink how they viewed a certain passage or whatever or a character that's in the Bible that maybe is viewed as a bad viewed as a bad guy, but then you you empathize with them yeah. by because of how they're portrayed in the Chosen. Um, because a human experience isn't black and white. There's so much nuance to all of it, and The Chosen uh, definitely embraces that. And talking about challenges, how has this role challenged you personally <laughs> in your career and, and yeah. on set and your personal growth in that? Mary goes through so much. <laughs> you know, it's so many ups and downs. Um, I think just emotionally, it is. It has just been challenging. You know, to to get really vulnerable and to even use some of my own pain to to express some of these scenes and emotions. And um, I realized in in performing some of these scenes, of like I, you really do have to surrender. You really do have to like give up. Like I am not in control of of what's going to happen in the scene. All I can do is show up get vulnerable, like open your heart, be present with the other actors, let them affect you, let the words affect you, let the story affect you, and then and then just go from there. So like I, the experience playing this character has changed my whole process of acting. So Jordan, uh, the show has had a lot of impact on uh, people around the world, and I know that in the new season you have a very impactful scene as well. How has that uh, been for you to have these scenes with with such impact and people respond to them it's amazing you know i i anytime when i was young if i watched movies and tv shows often if there's a character with a disability it's an able-bodied actor that is pretending to have a disability so it was rare that you i saw someone that actually walked like me on tv and um the more i've immersed myself into the disabled community in the film industry. Um, I've seen how much these people have to offer and how, you know, incredible they are, how talented they are. And I think that The Chosen is, um, you know, offering hope not just to them, but, but people with disabilities all over. And I think, uh, and even not just disabilities, but insecurities or, or things that make you different. Um, and I think The Chosen is is doing an amazing job of showing that no matter what your difference is, you are loved, and um, I'm just honored to be a, a small part of that. What has the show 
taught you in filming that you wish you would have known when you were younger? Oh, that's a really good question. Yeah. Um, I feel like when I was younger, when I was really young, I wanted to be a nun. So wow. <laughs> I, was, I really loved the church. I loved going to Catholic church. And I was like, I, was a, I, I loved these stories so much. Um, and as I got older, I started feeling really cynical uh, about religion. And I wish that I could tell myself, like, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> like, it's like to, to really stay focused on what Jesus was teaching mm -hmm. and, and who he was and his, his love and to, like, keep that with you instead of be like, oh, you know, church can be um, judgmental or, you know, people from church can be hypocritical and, and, and just be like, I'm walking away from this then. Mine would be, you know, for the longest time and still today, you know, it's something I struggle with, but imposter syndrome. And um, that was something, especially earlier in my career as an actor in my teens and, and into my 20s, uh, I never really felt like I belonged. If I was working on a project, I always felt like I was like, the the odd man out or the one that that you know they're going to catch on that I'm not supposed to be here and I'm they're going to get rid of me um and on the chosen it was so like it's been a journey but like so quick it, or the, the friendship started to form and um I I quickly realized that you know I do have a, a place in this and that I do belong thanks to these amazing people um showing me that and uh I wish I could go back to my younger self and, and tell him that as well. Well, thank you guys for you. answering my questions. And it's been so lovely to meet you. Me and too. I'm so excited this for has been really fun. season three and four. Yes. And it's thank you for uh, taking us to explore. Yes, yes, it's been so fun. It was yes. awesome. Thanks. <laughs>